first black of Illinois. He lost 6-2, but he did wrestle his best match and see if he can bring anything from that match over here. Like it's a very, very tough matchup for him, not just size alone, giving up a lot of size and weight, but Kuhn is also very technically, technically sound and one of the best heavyweights that Johnson will face this season. Johnson weighed in at 230 pounds, Kuhn at 272 pounds, so Kuhn certainly got the size advantage there as these two heavyweights are in the standing position. Just a few seconds have gone by, nothing doing yet as they tussle each other off the mat in a stall warning here against Jan Johnson. You gotta expect the strategy for Johnson here is just try to stay on his feet as much as possible. He's not too much of an offensive wrestler and you really just do, you don't want a guy like Kuhn to be on top of you, especially with that weight giving almost 40 pounds to the number four ranked wrestler uh, out of Fowlerville, Michigan. But also not just that, I mean, then that's when really Kuhn starts to get to work there, starts to impose his will, if you want to say, by using his strength over Johnson and really put him in some positions, expose the back and possibly get some big points and some bonus points. Kuhn gets two takedown points here, so he's up two to nothing and has six seconds of a riding time advantage. And it'll be Johnson who starts on the bottom after they slid off the mat. Back to the center they go. Again, it's Kuhn on top. Johnson has really been working, trying to work toward the edge of that mat. Kuhn working around the waist high crotch area. Kuhn, as we mentioned, very obviously very decorated finishing third Big Tens, the Big Ten Championships last year at the heavyweight division. Also captured the freestyle and Greco-Roman bronze medals, the World Junior Championships back in the summer of 2014. So he gets it done in many different styles. He's one of those wrestlers that can almost kind of do it all, if you want to say. Kuhn now again trying to keep Johnson on the mat, not allowing them to get up. Riding time nearing now 40 seconds for Kuhn. He leads two to nothing on that lone takedown. A minute 23 now left in the first period as Johnson rises to his feet and it'll be escape points here. Johnson will get one escape point getting out of that leg hold. Back to their feet now. Collar ties here for Kuhn. Johnson trying to work in as well. Now Kuhn in, he's got both legs and he takes down Johnson and will get two points. He's now up four to one with less than a minute to go in this first period. I've seen a lot of heavyweight matches, Brandon. A lot of low scoring, both guys kind of struggling, and there's not too many points scored. Kuhn is kind of the exception to that rule. 10-0 this season, as we mentioned, but nine of his 10 wins have included some sort of bonus point action. Three, three pins, three tech falls, and one major decision. Excuse me, two now, two, two rest, uh, matches that he has, just regular decision. He loves scoring, getting out there early, and really imposing his will and putting on a show for the fans. Johnson comes off the mat again, and will start in the down position. Kuhn again leads four to one and has the minute 15 of riding time advantage. The Nittany Lions lead 35 to three. And team scoring here is Kuhn again, just imposing his will, working Johnson down to the mat with 25 seconds left to go in this first period. Working around the waist now is Kuhn, getting Johnson flat on his stomach. Johnson not moving much now. Kuhn in under that right arm there of Johnson. Less than 10 seconds and now five to go as the riding time accumulates over a minute 45 here at the end of the first period in the favor of Kuhn and Kuhn leads four to one after one period. I see Kuhn chooses down. See how if Jansen can get a ride on top as you see a nice take down there just setting himself up, putting Johnson's arms a little bit higher than his head then boom just opening the legs and taking that perfect take down for two. So a quick escape point there for Kuhn as they return back to their feet. He leads five to one, 150 left to go in the second period. Kuhn really trying to drag down Johnson as he takes, down, takes him down for two points and they slide off of the mat. Kuhn now handily up seven to one. 
And he has a minute 44 of riding time in his favor. You see now Kuhn chooses to go neutral, so Johnson will get the escape point there. And you see Kuhn just, look at that, just trying to get back on again, almost similarly mirroring an image of Zane Rutherford we saw before, Jason Knopf, where they'll let you get the escape point because they want to go back and get take tags and get some a lot of bonus points. So interesting to see that mentality from a heavyweight, which you don't really see that too often, Brandon. Well, he's certainly coming out aggressive, and you know maybe on Friday's match at Northwestern, he learned something with the pinfall coming really early on at 40 seconds now as he gets two more takedown points. He leads Johnson 9-2, to two, and riding time up over a minute 50. And we'll get... A stoppage here. Jan Johnson looks to be bleeding and he'll get tended to by the trainer. So one minute, nine seconds left to go in the second period. Kuhn leads Johnson nine to three. And riding time is in favor of Kuhn with a one minute and 53 seconds of accumulated riding time here in our final bout of the day. To take a look back here at <clears throat> Kuhn is really working, getting Johnson's head, arms, excuse me, above his head rather, opening up Johnson for those legs and those takedowns. As Johnson sees we all patched up and ready to get back out there. Kuhn quickly at it now, tr trying with the to work on the head there. He's got the collar ties around and now works further as they near the edge of the mat and off they go and back to the center it will be. Johnson is really trying to move around and get his feet going, trying to get Kuhn worn down here. Johnson, football player actually, was on James Franklin's squad over on the other side of campus. And Kale Sanderson gave Coach Franklin a call and said, Coach, we need a heavyweight. you have any wrestlers? And Johnson has wrestled four years in high school from Pennsylvania, so knows the intensity of wrestling here. Has been on the team this entire year for that, for heavyweight after Nick Nevels went down early in the season with what looks to be a possible season-ending injury. So Kuhn gets two more takedown points, and as they return to the center of the mat, again he chooses to start in the upright position. So Jan Johnson gets another free point. He trails 11-4 to four now. Johnson trying to fight, gets getting something going on the right leg there of Kuhn, who's on top of him. Kuhn has a minute 59 now of riding time as Jan Johnson rises to his feet to this crowd's pleasure. And they will come off the mat as Jan Johnson starting to get a little something going here with 21 seconds left in this second period. Kuhn again leads 11 to four as they near the center of the mat. It's nice to hear the fans, Brandon, too, really trying to get behind Johnson. They see, they realize what's going on here, the big mismatch that Kuhn has in terms of size and just skill and ability there. But still, a lot of them still staying around, even though this match, I said 35-3, uh, is, is already secure for Penn State. It has been for a couple of matches now. A lot, most of the crowd still here, still trying to cheer on Johnson. Even if he doesn't get the win, at least one takedown, this place would go pretty wild, maybe the loudest spin all night, arguably. The wrestlers fly off the mat and again go to the center. And now Johnson, time working against him, and he cannot get any points for a takedown there. Jan Johnson trails 11 to four, as we'll have another quick injury. The trainer's just taking a quick look at him again. It looks like the uh, little filling he had there in his nose to stop the bleeding popped out. So they will just quickly fill that in again and we'll be ready to go for the third and final period in our final bout of the day. But it's interesting to see Johnson almost seems to be getting stronger as this match goes on. Kuhn really dominated the first period and a half, and now Johnson, like I said, there's, there was a second chance there where he almost, almost got enough strength to take down Kuhn. And he's getting closer. As I see, like I said, the crowd really feels it's starting to see that and just rooting for him to get one takedown. You mentioned this sellout crowd just a few moments ago, Ryan, and very few have left, even though it's a blowout score. The Nittany Lions up 35-3. to three. And it just shows you the nature of Nittany Lion wrestling and what it means to all these fans as Kuhn's still on top, riding out Jan Johnson. Kuhn now working high crotch. And on that right leg as Johnson quickly removes it. Now Kuhn trying to throw his weight around that 40 plus pounds, extra pounds that he has on Johnson. He's certainly trying to use that in his favor now. 1.15 left to go in the third and final period of this final bout. Kuhn still leads 11 to five now as Jan, Jan Johnson gets the escape point. Riding time is in favor of Kuhn. He has two minutes and 49 seconds. 
And as you mentioned, with the size, this is advantage for Johnson there. It makes it so tough for him to get out underneath when once <clears throat> he goes down on the ground there and Kuhn is on top. So, but you see Kuhn most of the time just kind of letting him go, trying to open that up, because as he sees too, Johnson almost really can never really get out of that once he's underneath. And now, another big takedown there. Kuhn extremely aggressive going after Johnson and he went right after the legs to get two more takedown points. He now leads 13 to five with 25 seconds left to go in the third period. Riding time up over three minutes now, so that extra point is certainly secured and this crowd rises to their feet. A stall, mate, a stall excuse me, is called on Johnson. That's his second, so he'll get the uh, point to Kuhn. And even though he will lose this 15 to five, this crowd still again on their feet for the big, big victory. It'll be a major decision there. So 35 to seven will be the final score here from Rec Hall.